Jiu-Jitsu can either be done in the traditional gi or without the gi. I've only trained without the gi for my three years of training, but I decided to enter a gi competition to see how my skills would carry over. I mean, hey, it's just a piece of clothing, right? Well, there are tons of submissions you can only do using the gi, which I have no preparation for. Not only that, I have no idea how to break grips, but I have a feeling my no-gi game is gonna catch some people off guard. Here's my first match. My opponent starts off with a cartwheel pass, so I could tell this was gonna be a wild match. I throw in a butterfly sweep, and as he bases out, I underhook his leg. He goes over the top, so I enter into a leg lock. This position is not allowed in the gi, so I have to let go. I lift him up into a pinch headlock and sweep him over. So far, my no-gi game was working out in the gi. I lock my hands behind his back for a body lock. Then I bring my knee across to start getting past his legs. I started to understand why people trained in the gi. Grabbing his clothing here made this position feel so much tighter. I go knee on belly, but he starts pushing my knee away, so I grab an underhook and spin around for an armbar. He comes up to his knees, but that's fine because I'm able to start locking up an inverted triangle. I start bringing his hand behind his back for the Kimura, but he rolls. He comes up to his knees once again, but this time he steps over my head. I was afraid he'd be able to pull out the triangle here, but I'm able to swing my legs and come on top. Then I pull his arm up and behind his back to get the tap with the Kimura. After that match, I felt like my no-gi game could carry me through this. But my next match showed me that when it comes to the gi, I'm completely lost. At first, this match is going pretty well. I underhook his leg, then chuck it up on my shoulder to start going for the pass. I step over his head and start bringing my weight down. He comes up to his knees, so I get behind him and start looking to take his back. I get 4 points for taking the back, but he ends up escaping. I pull guard, and I find out about what ends up being the bane of my existence. Pant grips. I cannot break these. Usually I can just bring my knee inside here, but he just pulls my legs away and gets 3 points for passing my guard. This was not good. I couldn't let him keep racking up points, so I go for an armbar, but he rips out. He jumps around my guard again, and at this point I'm like, screw Nogi, I gotta just start grabbing onto stuff. Somehow, my body just naturally uses this grip to get into single leg X. I kick him up and come on top, but I could tell he was trying to use the gi to set up some kind of submission from bottom, so I'm just trying to avoid any of that, and I end up winning the match on points. I now knew that this was going to be harder than I thought, especially since my next opponent had tattoos on his neck that were in Japanese, so you know he's serious. He grabs my pants and starts going side to side. I start getting pretty stressed because I have no idea what to do. But luckily I'm able to bring my knees inside and recover my guard. I'm like alright, you can't beat him, join him. So I grab his collar and start snapping him down. I don't know what I'm doing here. He once again starts trying to pass my legs. He kept putting the pressure on and it was getting tiring to defend. But I find an opening and start to invert. I throw my leg over and go into 50-50. I put weight on my foot and stand up, but he tries getting up as well. So I follow him and we end up in a front headlock position. I'm close to getting his back here, but he has this annoying grip on my sleeve. I start putting my weight down on him to make sure he can't get up, and he lets go of my sleeve so I'm able to start looking to take his back. I break him down trying to get my legs inside, but I end up riding too high so instead I start switching to an armbar. For a second, I think I'm going to be able to break his grip, but he keeps it solid. He starts posturing up, and it looked like he was going to be able to escape. If he did, I'd end up on bottom and have to deal with his guard passing, so I had to get creative. As he rips out the armbar, I pull him down, and start looking to take his back. I'm able to get one of my hooks inside then use a power half Nelson to break him down to a hip. I get my leg inside as a hook, and now I have full back control. I bring my forearm across his face, and lock up a rear naked choke. I start squeezing over his jaw to get the tap. Not the cleanest finish, but it's competition, so you gotta do what you gotta do. I still had to win three more matches to get the gold, so I was on to my next match. I lock my hands behind his back, then pull him on top of me. He goes for a gi Ezekiel choke, but I'm like, nah, get that gi stuff away from me. And sweep him over with a butterfly sweep. I just released a course that covers my full butterfly guard system, which you can get in the link down below. He starts bridging hard and underhooks my legs, so I start looking for a triangle. 
but his head slips, so I go to side control. He starts using an underhook to escape, but as he comes up to his knees, I follow him and start going for an armbar. We end up in this belly down position, so I use my shin to push down on his head and grab his leg to roll him over. He starts grabbing my collar to go for some choke, but I'm like, no, stop that. I notice his back is off the mat, so I start looking to take it. I get both my hooks in for full control. I start bringing my arm across for the choke. Notice how I use my other arm to block his hand from grabbing my choking arm. I lock up the RNC to get the tap. The way this tournament was structured was that the first four matches were round robin. Then the four people with the best records were put in a single elimination bracket to decide the winner. Because of this, I ended up facing the guy with the neck tattoo again. I just won four matches in a row and already submitted him. So I was feeling like Yi was my thing and I was gonna run through the rest of this tournament. But as soon as the match starts, I get reminded that I don't know how to use the Yi. I try making up some guard here, but it does not work out for me. When you're retaining guard, you always want to think about trying to get your feet and knees inside. Here, he's stopping my right leg from coming in, but there's some space open, so I bring my left knee inside and push him away to retain my guard. My opponent drives into me, so I invert and start looking to take his back. Honestly, I should have gone to 50-50 here like I did the first time I went against him, but I was too hungry for the finish, and he ends up turning into me. I start looking for an armbar on him, but he's able to rip out and starts going for the pass. I'm able to recover and we get reset. Despite having some close calls, I was still just looking for the submission, but that bites me in the butt. I get too focused on an armbar that's not really there, but I forget that this is a nogi. I can't get my legs inside as easily as I normally can. His grip on my pants pulls my knee away from my chest and he's able to get the pass and three points. I'm not used to escaping when there's so much friction. So he's able to hold me for a while. And once I'm able to escape, there's only 30 seconds left. We get reset, and I decide my only chance is to go for an armbar from standing. I walk into him, and when I feel him push back into me, I fall down and bring my knee inside. But as I try to get my leg over his face for the armbar, I fail. And I end up losing the match. Which sucked, but there was a silver lining. I could still medal if I won my third place match, which would be pretty good for a nogi guy who's putting on the gi for the second time in his life. The match starts with my opponent trying to run around my guard, but I'm able to get a hook in and go for a butterfly sweep. He bases out with his leg, but this gives me an opening to enter into single leg X. I want to come on top here, but he's basing with his leg. So first, I threaten an ankle lock. To defend, he makes his leg light and pulls me into him, which allows me to come on top. I start pressuring down and I lock up a body lock. Then just like before, I bring my knee across to get the pass. I go knee on belly, then transition to mount. He bridges, comes up to his knees, and starts looking to roll me over, but I see an opening for a triangle. I lock my legs and cut an angle. He falls down to relieve the pressure, so I switch to an armbar to get the tap. I ended up getting third place. I learned a lot about the gi, and the main thing honestly was, it's not that different from no gi. Also that I hate when people grab my pants. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, and go to the link down below to learn my full butterfly guard system.